Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you where to upload media to the Razorsharp CRM so that you can better manage your social media outreach campaign. This question originated from a client of ours, so we're doing a quick training in regards to media production. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in, answer the question first and foremost, and then we'll talk a little bit about social media outreach and where you can get support. Um, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate or log into the Razor Sharp CRM at crm.razorsharpnetworks.com. Navigate to the media storage tab. This will give you the ability to organize uh, all of your media, whether it's video images, whether it's post content, whatever it is. This is a really great place to do that. There's a couple of different things that I would probably make note of. First and foremost, you're probably gonna want a post content folder in order to organize content. You'll probably want an image folder and you'll probably want video folders. And then within there, for instance, inside the video folder, what I would do is I would create additional folder or directories. We could do a production folder if you had just raw content that you wanted to upload into it. We could do a post-production folder. We could also do a published folder. So of course, we utilize the Razor Sharp Network's media production framework, which starts with pre-planning, production, post-production, publication, optimization, syndication into social media, and then also paid placement. So if you have video content and you want to upload this and organize it, what we would do is we would just utilize directories and subdirectories within the media storage library on the Razor Sharp CRM in order, in order to organize all the content. So that would be video. I would also do post content this way. A couple of different ways that you could organize this. If you have multiple locations, of course, you can organize it into different locations, but I would organize it in regards to the type of content. So let's say we had a bunch of post content. You could come here, of course, the directory is empty right now, but you could click on there and you can upload from your file explorer or you can actually correct a Google Drive directly to your media library. So a lot of great tools in order to help you manage media. Again, you can drag and drop post content. You could select multiple post content This will be all images. And let's say you want to do a new folder and you want to do you want to move them to a production folder. This will give us the ability in order to organize content quickly and easily. So I would try to lean away from just dragging and dropping everything to a root folder because that doesn't really say much about what the content is going to be utilized for. So I would assume that these three, probably all of these, are going to be in the publication. So we're going to go ahead and move these into post content images, into production. That'll give us the ability to do that. Now, as far as a top level organization, I would utilize like images, like these three images here. These are all brand images. So I'm gonna just move them to the images folder.
And then we have these videos here. I don't really know what they're for, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them to the video production folder. And that way we can make a determination in regards to what it is that we wanna do with these. Again, this is really just about So we're going to need a media production. So again, if we're in the pre-planning stage, we might dump all of our raw content in pre-planning. This might be you know, our primary video content. It might be trailers. It might be um, PSA or public service announcements. So all of our raw content is going to go in the pre-planning folder. Then once we get a plan together, we can, we can organize those into projects. So let's go into video. I'm going to create this. We're going to go pre-plan. We might break this up into content. PSAs and announcements. My do intro, outros. And what this will do is it'll give our video production managers the ability to organize content based off of uploads from a client. Again, there's a lot of shared directories, a lot of shared uh, file directories out there. There's Google, there's uh, OneDrive, and of course, there's the RazorSharp CRM. The good part about the RazorSharp CRM is that it gives us the ability to collaborate with our team, whether or not you guys are managing the process yourself or you're outsourcing the process to the RazorSharp Networks team. It gives us the ability to easily organize that, and it can all be done underneath the media storage library. Now, if you have questions about social media outreach, or if you have questions about media production, you can always access our AI here. And just ask a question. This is gonna leverage, or this is gonna engage our ARM, our, our AI. It's gonna reach into our knowledge base, and then we're gonna pull all the articles that we have in regards to media, media storage, social media outreach, and everything related. If for some reason you don't get your question answered, if you have priority support, you can jump on Slack. If you have standard support, you can jump into support.razorsharpnetworks.com and get the questions answered that you need. Again, we have an option to get a 30-day free trial on the RazorSharp CRM if you're interested in checking that out. If you have questions, please let me know. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Set up notifications and uh, you'll get additional trainings in the future. We have a ton of resources in regards to the adoption of AI and automation in order to drive revenue and compress timeframes within your organization. Let us know if you have any additional questions. And as always, make today and every day a fantastic day. We'll talk with you real soon.